All right, so today we talk, we're speaking about um, applications, apps, and things that you are custom downloading. We just be like, okay, let's download the app, download the app, and everybody says app, 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 app. How we want to, the whole theme of Tech, um, tech Week is how we want to move forward using the technology to benefit us. And not just be like a consumer, but to use it to enhance life, to create and those sort of things. And what we're dealing with right now is apps. The problem is that a lot of people will just be like, okay, go and download the app. But why do they create apps? What do apps give us? And how do we take the apps that they create to create some sort of value in our life? Now, it's not just about business and making money. It's about creating value. Because when somebody sits down and they code these apps and they sit down, you ever saw like one of those shows where you see all the white writing on a black screen and all the colorful stuff moving across the screen? That's real, right? People have to sit down and do that on a daily basis and create the colorful things that you see on the screen. It all starts with somebody typing words. And those words change to ones and zeros and the computer understands it. And it's kind of amazing that two forms of electricity, five volts and zero volts, which is a one and a zero, has turned into you double tap on our screen so a heart a little heart thing will come up because you like it and that person becomes famous that's what that's what it becomes has come to because the number one app in the world right now is yes tiktok yes the second facebook third one what's up here fourth would be instagram um yeah, Mark, Mark, yeah. Fifth, fifth would be um, Zoom. Six, um, someone on Snapchat. Seven, eight, nine, Google Meet. A lot of the video conferencing ones start to start to come because of the pandemic. Yeah. Sorry? Snapchat is, yeah, uh, yeah, um, Spiegel, Spiegel, something, something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, they're still holding it up. But the thing is, we go and download apps and we, um, we use the apps, but we primarily use apps to consume. But then there are apps that we used to create. So you, you, you ever heard of um, Canva? Canva is a, um, a graphic creating app. That's, it's kind of free and everybody creates their... You can see a lot when people posting things online that they use a template from Canva. Because <laughs> you'll be like, yeah, that's the that's Canva template. Eh? Yeah, no, a template. Because marketing and whatnot, you start to go by a graphic designer. Right? But be like, eh, this is what I want, X, Y, C, A, B, C. Then they had to say, all right, cool, I'm going to open up Photoshop and are going to create something for you. But now Photoshop has merged to more artificial intelligence. So it's not really humans fighting up with Photoshop anymore to just create a flyer. Now you, those things have been kind of dumbed down to apps. And if we, if we, if we, if we had to like move forward and think about how apps are going to benefit us, we have to start to be able to find the apps that are going to enhance our lives instead of suckers dry. <laughs> Like um, there are, there is an app that would create a speech fair. So you put your speech in, and the artificial intelligence will go through the speech, and not just type it out; it will correct it for you and, and tell you how to copyright that AI is anyway. Most of the most of the websites now will have dot AI at the end of it. That means there's some artificial intelligence in the background. Typically, Google's TensorFlow and somebody else who has created like a framework. And you could put it in and it'll figure it out for you. So you have AI apps that will be able to check your speech for you. You have AI apps that will be able to create an ad for you. It'll be able to create a video for you. We don't really you know, think that... We don't think that our computer could do those things. 